All right, we're here with Republican Vaughn Ward. Uh, Mr. Ward, uh, Mr. Labrador's biggest knock on you is that you don't have legislative experience. What's your response to that? You know, what I do have is the experience of knowing what it means to defend a nation. What I do have experience doing is fighting in combat for this nation. What I do have experience doing is being an Idahoan for four generations. I mean, I think these are the important things that we have, is that politics as usual, status quo, doesn't change anything. Sending another politician to Washington, D.C. doesn't change anything. Let's do something different. Let's send somebody that knows about leadership. Let's, somebody, let's send somebody who's supported and defended the Constitution against all enemies foreign. And I want to go back to Congress and fight for any domestic enemies we may have. I think those are the things that I bring to this table. You know, you're right. Do I have legislative experience? No. Is it required? No. Ronald Reagan, his first job he ever had politically was a governor of this state of California. Steve Sims, a famous politician from Idaho, first job he ever had was congressman of this district. And I think those are the important things. If we want real change, stop sending the lawyer politician types to D.C. Okay. Um, during the debate, Labrador tried to cast you as a D.C. insider uh, along the likes of John McCain. What's your response to that and, and those charges? You know, uh, I suppose he can say what he wants about me. The fact of the matter is, we've been on this campaign for a year, and we work very hard to build a grassroots organization. One year ago, nobody would talk to me. It was the Idahoans built this campaign, one person at a time. We have done, we estimated over 700 events, whether it's an event like you and I doing an interview, or speaking to a large group of people, over and over and over, and over a year's time, We've burned up thousands of miles. Yes, we have finally gone to the campaign to where it's very important. This is a very, very important race. So the nation is looking at it saying, we hope Idaho can win because the hopes of a nation may rest on this very seat right here. Because if you can't win back Idaho, where does it start? So people are getting involved because they said, Vaughn, you're the type of leader we've been looking for. Let's do something different. Let's take back not only our state, but let's help take back this nation by reclaiming Congress. You advocate for lower taxes, which would mean lower spending on the other end of the spectrum. What programs do you see can, can be cut immediately in the federal budget? When I look at what's going on inside the federal, uh, the, the budget itself is a great question. You look at what's going on inside of uh, welfare reform, we talked about that up there. I think welfare reform is right for, for some decisions about how to make that more efficient and cut it. There's waste, fraud, and abuse going on inside of Social Security, inside of our entitlement programs. This can be addressed. We've already had commissions look at it and say, there are a lot of problems here. Let's address these problems and start winnowing away at the, at the waste and abuse that's going on inside of it. And then things like Department of Education, again, which we talked about, it's superfluous. They spent, or they're spending this year alone, $160 billion. Some of that stimulus money now, but again, their budget, overall budget, just for the year, was $59 billion. Imagine if that money would have stayed in our pockets here in Idaho, and we let the Idaho legislature and the governor decide what we're going to do to educate our kids. Because I believe it's a state's rights issue. It's not for the federal government to do. And there are more programs like that, Department of, Educa or Department of Energy. And again, another Carter, uh, another Carter era uh, agency, just like education, energy. is supposed to get us off of foreign oil. Today we burn 12 million barrels a day of foreign oil. It's not doing a very good job. What's its role? Why are they doing it? Again, these are agencies we can look at for some serious cuts to what we're doing and make things run more efficiently and put more money back in people's pockets. Okay. Um, why does Vaughn Ward want to be a U.S. Congressman? It's a great question. That's the first question I answer during any time I get up and speak to people. And I say, you know what, because I believe one person can make a difference. I believe in this country. I believe in our state. I believe in what my Idaho values are. It's how I grew up. I right now don't think as it is today, that I'm going to pass a, a, a country, a state, to my children as the same state that I grew up in. I want to. I want to go back and fight to turn back the tide and say, we will not continue on the path that Walt Minnick, Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama have us on. It's a train headed in the wrong direction. We need to stop it and do a 180 degree course change. I believe, in, you know, like Ronald Reagan, when he went back there and when he was elected, cut taxes across the board. And what happened? A nation flourished. These are things we could do that would actually change what's going on, not just simply more status quo. And again, what was special about Ronald Reagan? He wasn't a politician. When he went to serve as, as governor of California, that's the first elected office he had. It's time for some radical change. Let's not just send more people because they happen to have legislative experience. Let's send people who say, I understand the Constitution. That's my legislative experience. I fought for this nation. 
that's my legislative experience. These are the things I care about. Mm -hmm. Okay, just two more questions. I'll let you go. I know you're a busy guy. Um, if elected, will you put term limits upon yourself or, or limit the uh, numbers of, of terms you will serve? I will limit the number of terms I will serve in legislation because I believe in term limit legislation. Not only term, li term limit legislation for congressmen, <clears throat> but also for the staff that works there. Because the problem is with um, if you force, if we do term limits and we force this turnover to always occur, what's the problem? Is that your staff becomes even stronger? They're very powerful. The committee staff that never leave, they know what's going on, and they're very powerful what they do. How do you have term limits for just congressmen, and then make that bureaucracy even stronger? And a Congress that ends up being less representative. We wanted it to be more representative, and the end, if we do just congressmen and senators term limited, we just empowered the bureaucracy that exists inside of Congress. That is not acceptable. We need to do across the board term limits for everyone. You want to work there? That's a great thing to do. But it's a representative body, and nobody should be allowed just to park their entire life in Congress. Okay, last question, and I will ask the same one of, of Representative Labrador about you. Is there anything positive that you can say about, about Representative Labrador? He's a family man. I've seen him around his children. I think that they, they love him. And I think that's something I evaluate when I look at a family and I say, you know, are they a good person? Absolutely. You know, I, I look at how, you, how a man or a woman, how they interact with the children, and it's very clear. There's a lot of love there. And that's what's good about it. It's just family strength and a bond right there. And I think those are important things. Um, other than that, that's kind of where, that's all I've really gotten to know him on. I don't know him very well. I understand. Well, I appreciate your time today, sir.